Mr. Clear Crew. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's a brand new day, which means I got a brand new vlog for y'all. If you're new to my channel, my name is Crystal. I post videos every single day, so make sure you smash that subscribe button and join the crew. So first off, guys, I just want to uh, say a little announcement. I am sick, so my voice is kind of like really like raspy and just really like weird right now. I think I got sick over the weekend because I like party too much and like I was in the pool and I was at the beach and all that. Also, if you guys haven't already noticed, I'm like super sunburnt. I'm in a lot of pain right now. And I normally don't wear like a tank top to like film, but right now like my skin and my shoulders are just in so much pain. So I just kind of just want to like let it breathe a little bit because like wearing a t-shirt like it kind of rubs against my skin and like it's just really painful but kind of just want to let you guys know a little bit beforehand so you guys aren't questioning me about like why my voice is like kind of weird and just off and like why am i so red but as you guys already know i'm sure you guys have already heard of it that lebron james is coming to the damn lakers first of all i'm a huge nba fan i love the lakers lakers are my number one team i have never jumped on any type of bandwagon i've always been a laker fan since day one the lakers are like my go-to team like that's it i just i don't have any other team that i follow this was like a huge you know a huge huge thing for me and when i heard the first um announcement of lebron james coming to the lakers i was not i'm not even gonna lie i was like half as drunk because i was at a pool party when it happened and so the next day i was talking to my friends and they were hitting me up and telling me oh you know this and this and that like lebron james coming to the lakers and then i saw it on the news and i saw it on my phone because i'm uh i have the nba app so it notifies me when there's trades and like when there's games and all that and i'm like what the heck so you know like i searched it up i saw it on twitter and i'm like dang like lebron james like damn this fool's really coming to the lakers so i kind of wanted to do just like, a little reaction of like how I thought of it and honestly like when I found out the news I was like what the heck like those who know me like know that I'm not a LeBron James fan like at all like I just I don't know LeBron James and I don't sit well together like just talking about him give, gives me like ugh, like I don't know like a cringy feeling don't get me wrong though LeBron James is a really 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 good player like he can play like he can ball like I'm not even gonna lie but there's just something about him that just like it gets to me and I'm just like like I does like he doesn't sit well with me like at all I mean I guess you could say I am kind of happy that you know he came to the Lakers just because I feel like we really needed it and you know like the late show is back and like all that and it's weird because like Kobe like tweeted about it too and I actually saw like this clip of like celebrity NBA players that you know um reacted to this so i'm gonna go ahead and just i'm gonna just drop it down below like right here so it's just gonna run through like the whole uh, my whole vlog just so you guys can see like what um these celebrities you know how they're reacting to it because it's crazy like i didn't think lebron james was ever gonna come to lakers i heard people talking about it like a couple years ago but i didn't think it was actually gonna happen but i also know that it kind of happened because um his son was also like he also plays basketball and it has something to do with his son coming out to la as well um, but like overall, like I am happy for him. I'm happy that, you know, he found his place, you know, in LA just because I know that, you know, his last year, his last year in Cleveland was last year or last season. And so I'm glad that, you know, he found a place like, you know, where he could settle in for a couple years. I mean, I also heard that we got like, we acquired McGee, we acquired Lance Stevenson. It's funny that Lance Stevenson actually came like to play for Lakers as well, because Lance Stevenson was the guy that blew in LeBron James ear. And now that they're teammates, it's kind of, like, it's going to be, like, interesting to see how they, like, interact with each other and, like, how, they, how they're going to play with each other. Because, I mean, you're on a team now, so you have to, like, you know, be a team player. You have to play together. You have to be, like, on one team. You got to play against each other, you know. So it's interesting to see, you know, how that's going to play out. Like, that's one part that I'm interested in to see, like, throughout this whole NBA season. I also think that, you know, it's good that LeBron James came to, you know, play for a team down here in the West Coast just because every year, every basketball season, like the, for the past couple of years has always been Steph Curry and like LeBron James. It has, it has always been those two teams that, you know, made it out to like the finals. And so now that we have a team out here in the West Coast, you know, we have a couple good teams in the East Coast. We have a couple good teams in the West Coast. Now it's interesting to see, you know, how they're going to interact with each other because now it's going to it's gonna be different now. It's not going to be, oh, we already know it's going to be, uh, you know, Steph Curry and LeBron James at the end. Now it's like, okay, now we don't really know because we got, you know, we have we got Kyrie in, what, Boston. And then we have, you know, Steph Curry obviously still in Ghost. And now we got LeBron James down here. And it's like... 
you know now it's like we really don't know but if you guys have any predictions let me know down below comment down below let me know what you guys think you know the nba finals like what who which two teams are gonna make it to the finals and quite honestly like i was telling my friends like we don't have to make it to the finals like if we if the lakers can make it to the playoffs like just period the playoffs like I, that would make me really happy because these past couple years you know it's been a struggle for our team for i'm saying our team like all of you guys are laker fans it's been a struggle for my team because you know that i like lakers as my team not that I own it or anything, but it's been a struggle for, for them. And so now that we have more of like a leader in the group, a leader for the team, now it's interesting to see, you know, how everything's going to play out. But I also want to congratulate like McGee. He came, uh, he got acquired. Uh, Lance Stevenson got acquired. Rajon Rondo, he's another great player. I love Rajon. I liked, I liked Rajon when he played for the Celtics. Like he's always a good player. Um, now that he also came to the Lakers, like I think it's a good fit for us as well. And quite honestly, like I said earlier, I, I'm just really interested to see how the East and the West Coast are gonna like play things out now, just because we have you know a handful of good teams on the East and then a handful of good teams on the West. So it's kind of interesting to see how you know everything's gonna be played out now in the NBA. But Erica and I were talking about it um, yesterday, and she was saying how like, now it's gonna be more balanced. And so, and I definitely agree because now, like I said earlier, we have a handful of great teams on each side. So it's going to be interesting to see. Um, now it's going to be more interesting to watch the NBA because I'm not even, like, I'm not even going to lie. I stopped watching the Lakers because, like, it's sure they suck. Like, they just sucked. And so it was just, like, really boring to watch, I would say. But now that we have, you know, all these players and all these separate teams, like, it's interesting. It's going to be really interesting to watch. So I'm super excited for that. Hopefully I can make it to a couple games this uh, season. And if I do, of course, I'm going to take you guys along with me. Because, I mean, I think that would be, like, a great experience just to, like, vlog. Um, all that like I think it'll be pretty cool I also came across a spreadsheet that I saw on Twitter I don't use Twitter much but I do follow like the NBA and like the Lakers and like all that on Twitter so a lot of these uh, people have been like retweeting um, these different spreadsheets for um, like the team I guess I don't even know who this guy is but he has this spreadsheet for like the Lakers like he literally broke down like each player and like how much they should get paid so that we can acquire uh, Kawhi Leonard which I thought was pretty interesting and the only reason why I saw it was cause I think the Lakers or the NBA either one of them retweeted his tweet so that's how I saw it and I have no no idea who this guy is but I did follow him and I also I'm gonna also drop his link down in the description so you guys can check him out it's interesting to see how people are so into this kind of stuff and how they can like they'll take their take their time and go out of their way to like literally break down everything so that um so that they can show, you know, like the NBA or like whoever is looking at their stuff that, you know, this is what you should do in order to keep all the players on the roster. But yeah, I'm super excited for the season. I think it's going to be a great season. 2018, a lot of crazy things have happened this year. A lot of good, crazy things. So I'm super excited. Um, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that I've been super like lagging on the fact that I haven't been doing my post notification shoutouts and I am really really sorry for that uh, but I'm gonna start fresh. I'm gonna start next week so if you guys don't see a post notification shoutout on Monday I want you guys to comment below, spam me, message me, whatever and be like yo where's this notification shoutout because I told you guys I was gonna do it like a week ago and I didn't but I really want to start doing that so literally if you want a notification shout out all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel and then um once you subscribe all you guys do is comment below hashtag notification crew that's it and each day each video i will you know pick and choose a supporter and give them a shout out so i want to do that but i just been like super like i don't know i've just been lagging on it or i just forget to do it so i really want to start doing it so make sure you guys you know go ahead and comment down below notification crew so that i can start doing it next week and also tomorrow is 4th of July. I don't know if I'm going to drop a video tomorrow just because I am going to be spending it with family. So if I don't, I mean, I'll see you guys in a couple days. But I just want to say, like, happy 4th of July to everyone. Make sure you guys stay safe out there. Have fun, but stay safe. Make sure if you guys are uh, doing fireworks or lighting up fireworks, you guys are careful. And if any of you guys have kids, make sure to please watch your kids because it's so sad to see every, you know, major holiday that comes around, especially like with 4th of July, you know, kids get, you know, hurt with uh, fireworks, even adults. So I just want you guys to just please stay safe and like don't do anything crazy or anything like that because really it's not worth it. But happy 4th of July, everybody. Um, like I said, I probably won't be dropping a video tomorrow, so I'll just see you guys in a couple days. But make sure you guys like this video, give it a huge thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Fuck with me and get some money and get some yeah. money. Hey, fuck with me and get some money and get some money. Hey. Yeah. Fuck with me and get some money. Hey. Yeah, fuck with me. Hey, hey. Light it up, steam out the room.
Roof, roof, roof.